Hi everyone, Kate is here and welcome to this new video. Today, despite all of the troubles and issues that people of my country are facing, I would like to share some good news with you. First of all, Crocoblock is still working and that is why Jet Team Core plugin has just been recently updated to the new version, thanks to the hard and dedicated work of our Crocoblock team members, our lovely developers and testers, and not only. So right now, let's hop into the dashboard to see what new features are available within this new update. The first thing that you will notice after pushing the update is that now there are two locations where you can work with the theme parts and customize the website appearance to your desire. Theme templates and theme builder. Theme templates is a place where you can create, edit and store all the theme parts like headers, footers, etc. And one of the major and most important changes brought to you in this version is full WordPress block editor or in other words, Gutenberg compatibility. Yes, guys, from now on, when adding a new template, apart from selecting the type of the template, you have an opportunity to decide which editor to use, Elementor or Block Editor. Even though most of you use Elementor in your projects, I'm sure that there are a lot of you who will be more than happy with this new feature. And also, another tiny but pretty useful thing connected to this change is the type column that now specifies not only the type of the template itself, but also the editor that has been used for creating one or another template. And since the theme part templates can now be created using two completely different editors, Another task that our developers had to accomplish was actually finding a way to set conditions for the templates to apply in this or that part of the website. And good for us, the solution has been found and now you can use the instances column exactly for this purpose. Just click on the added conditions button to start applying them to the template. So if you have ever used Jet Pop-Up plugin, then you should be familiar with this set of options. Here's the place where you can easily add a condition according to your needs. And what I think is one of the coolest things is that now you are not limited to only one condition for one particular template. Here you can define specific pages where the template should or should not be displayed using multiple conditions. Just click on this button to add as many of them as you like. And do you think this is it? Well, not really. The conditions themselves have also been updated, which means that now you can apply a template not just to entire site, singular page or archive page, but also you're welcome to use the advanced settings too. Once chosen, it'll give you the chance to use one of the three options available. URL parameter, device or roles. URL parameter allows you to input a URL string with certain parameters to help you specify a certain template for the exact page. Device option gives you the opportunity to select the device type mobile, tablet or desktop on which this template will be displayed. And roles option stands for assigning the template to particular user roles. So with this new set of options, you now can come up with more complex and unique websites for your customers. As for the theme builder, this is a brand new section where you can create the so-called page templates that consist of a header, a body and a footer in which you can combine, thus organize your custom theme part templates that are stored in the theme templates section. So let's remove this sample and try to create a new page template. 
the first step would be setting up the display conditions for the entire page template. And I want to emphasize here that these conditions are not the same as the previous ones we discussed. Yes, the option set looks exactly the same, but bears a different function. Display conditions in the theme template section define the location where one or another template will be displayed inside the theme. And display conditions in the theme builder completely re-render the whole page, which means that they fully or partially override any theme on your website. So let's, for example, choose the condition entire site and create the template. As you can see, the structure for the new page template has been created and its type was set to page. The type of the template directly depends on the display conditions we select. So if we change the condition to archive, for example, it will instantly update the type label of this page template. And the same goes for the single page too. Let's say we want to assign it to CPT posts, for example, and the label here changes right away. As for me, I think it's a pretty nice thing to have, especially if you work in a complex website with multiple design types of the pages. Basically, it helps you not to keep all the settings in your mind, right? Okay, so here we can change the name of the template and it'll also be saved right away. Okay, good. So what's next? Now we are ready to add the theme part templates to this page template. Here we can either create a template from scratch or add one from the library. If we choose the first option, we'll see a new pop-up window where we can select the type of the editor we'd like to use and give a custom name to the template. We don't need to select the type of the template itself because it already has been predefined automatically. So basically, if I click on add header, it will create a header. And if I click on add footer, it will create a footer and so on. Okay, so let's click on create. Great, so the template has been created and here we can decide if we want to edit it straight away or come back to this part later. I'll remove this blank template and add one I already have from the library. As you can see, the blank template we just created was not deleted completely from the website. It just was removed from the page template structure and is still available for editing if needed. Okay, so let's click on the Use button under the Once Spa header to apply it to our page template. Here I will repeat the same procedure and insert the other templates from the library too. Since I have a customized body template for the home page, I will change the display conditions of this page template to singular front page. Good. And one more thing that I wanted to mention, which I personally think is really cool too, is that we can disable or enable particular parts of the page template without removing them from the structure. We can simply click on this little eye icon to show or hide a certain template from the page. Okay, so right now let's disable all the theme part templates to see what we have on the front end. Let's open the home page and as you can see, this is the default cover theme page with some posts and a navigation menu in the header. So let's go back to the theme builder and enable, for example, a header. Okay, now let's return to the front end and refresh the page. Good. Now we can see that the new once spa header has been applied to this page. And if we go to the sample page, for example, 
we'll see that here the header is still set to default one because we've set the display conditions to show our page template only on the front page. Okay, so let's try to apply a footer and a body template too. Good. Now refresh the page and there we go. Now we can see a completely different page with a custom design of each page template theme part. Header, body, and a footer. And that's pretty much it for today. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope it was useful and informative. And if so, don't forget to give it a like. And just as usual, if you still have any questions left, please don't hesitate to contact our support team because they are doing their best to stay in line, help you solve the issues and address your requests as fast as possible. And actually, there is one more thing that I'd like to say, and I'm sure that all Crocoblock team will support me on that. I would like to pay my deep and sincere gratitude to each and every one of you for your kind words of support, concern and care. This really means a lot for every one of us. And knowing that there is someone out there in the world who really feels your pain and who is ready to do everything possible to stop this disaster, this nightmare that is going on right now here, it really warms our hearts and gives us hope. So guys, thank you so much. We love you. And I hope that you will have a lovely day today. Please take care of yourself. And don't forget to join our friendly Facebook community because there are really a lot of cool people out there.